Howdy y'all, Matt here, Seattle Speed Shop, and today we're going picking, so uh, buckle up, follow along. So we are here and we're gonna do a little a little walk around and show you kind of the place uh, while you local guys know this spot so uh, let's kind of try and not for me but just the owner keep a little hush hush uh, not that everyone doesn't know him already so let's have a little look see there is his 60 sedan delivery Spare cab for that. Willie's sedan turned panel. Sport coupe. Mr. Fireball Roadster here cleaning up the sticker bushes. I'm gonna start with cleaning out this shed. Hopefully we can get a better shot of this old moving box because it is cool. 
Is it? shed pretty much clear this is a 48 what was that f5 f6 uh, this is going to be for sale there might actually be a title uh, it's a good old Pacific Northwest farm truck Pretty, pretty nice complete old rig. This cab's in really pretty good shape. Yeah, it, it is. I know it's got the good. back damage. Been inside but... for years. Just yeah. stress cracking. Got something bolted on it. Really nice grill that you can barely see. Hey guys, Matt here. We are back. I got the truck loaded. There are lots of lots of little goodies in here. Uh, we're just doing the outside shed right now. There's a lot of better stuff in here uh, that we will be getting to. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home, unload the truck, and we'll be back tomorrow. We'll uh, we'll bring you back. We'll see you then, and uh, we'll we'll keep this pick going. So, see you then. How y'all? Day two, and uh, yeah, gonna do a little bit of walkthrough. Giant pile of tea parts. If you want this stuff, it can go very cheap. It's probably going to go scrap if no one wants it. 48. We also cleaned out this little area. Still got to get over in here. Uh, Back here, it's a A chassis, pretty rough, but uh, is available. Uh, got this Merc, this is a 39 chassis, I think this is what, a 41 Merc, uh, available. Another 39 Merc, available. Unibody, no title, no tailgate. Available, <clears throat> old square body thing. What I really wanted to show you guys is this cool old bus.
the guy whose place I'm at he used to play in this when he was a kid. Uh, pretty cool. It's a uh, it's a goner, I would say. But just kind of a old cool relic. Um, yeah, just trying to help him get get his move done and get stuff home or to the new to the other shop that this stuff is going to he's got to downsize and kind of keep the good stuff get rid of a lot of other stuff I did get this touring body I have both doors I have a cowl got this from him has a title might might build this on the channel and then we got this coop body that's had the roof cut off of. That's coming home today. Here's his sedan. This this car will be available if someone wanted it. Real quick. Here's a Willys. I already have this posted for sale. If, uh, if you're interested, it does have a title. This is the infamous Fireball Roadster. Uh, very cool car. He drives this thing everywhere. inside the shop real quick this is the cabrio you probably could buy this if you had a large paper bag full of cash very large one you can uh, if, if you're really interested you can email me a very cool car that he is building and then today we put this four-door body on this chassis and that was really cool i got it slid ahead i was a white hole off oh were we okay i thought it was a little bit further yeah. back there drop down cool <laughs> awesome <laughs> oh no no quarter power needed Nice. Makes it look like a grill's kind of dirty. Needs the grill. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is going to be a cool car when it's done. If uh, you think you should put this Cadillac motor in it instead of a flathead, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, yeah. Like I said, if you've been here, you, uh, you know how cool everything is. And if you have, let's keep it hush hush. But, uh, yeah. These uh, milk truck wheels, these are available if anyone's interested. I'll be posting those on the speed shop. Oh, yeah, he's getting the grill. super cool so yeah earlier today that body was hanging from the rafters and uh, chassis was just a pile of parts so now he's got a roller you can move it to the new shop and uh, build this bad boy well, we'll see you next time howdy y'all we are back got the trucks unloaded and figured we'd do a little walkthrough of everything and uh, see what we got this weekend so a really cool bus heater 
Green horn, old post mount drill, just some flathead manifolds, Chevy manifolds, old compressor there, some architectural salvage. Here we've got a couple axles and stuff we brought back. Uh, some like 41 to 48 Model A stuff. There's a couple uh, F1 front axles, Dodge van seats, I think Model T seat. Random tin, uh, I think there's a 36 deck lid skin in here and a Model A deck lid as well. Uh, Divco grill, it's a little crunched but you know, they're not making them anymore. This is a gas tank out of an airplane that was made like six days before Pearl Harbor. Got a bunch of wheels. Uh, probably be some more wheels coming up. New old stock Firestone Indy tires. Artillery wheels for a Chevy. Model T wire wheels. And then T Touring with title and doors. This is probably the nicest Model T body I've ever owned. Uh, doesn't look like much, but it's really solid. And then a uh, 2829 coupe. Uh, it's missing the roof. Uh, you know, it's obviously a little rough, but it's it's pretty solid down low. Uh, sheet metal is pretty solid, so uh, you know, maybe we can find a roof and a windshield frame for this. To have a cool car. And then the good stuff. Got a Winfield redhead. It's an original Winfield head. Seven to one compression ratio. I love Winfield stuff. This is just the coolest. Also got a pair of Cyclone 21 stud heads uh, for V8. Uh, Corvette, original intake manifold for a Corvette. This is gonna be for sale. Got some really cool old flippers. And this dropped uh, Model A headlight bar. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Good day, uh, well, good weekend out picking, really. Um, yeah, you'll see this for sale on uh, our Speed Shop page on Instagram. If there's anything in this video that you are interested in, one of the cars, whatever, uh, I'll drop my email down below. Give us an email and I will put you in contact uh, with the owner. So, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a good weekend. You got a little bit done on your cars. We'll see you next week.